Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful, getting to be evening now here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, where we have made it to, uh, I believe it is already Thursday, good lord, somewhere like September 8th or 9th, 2022, so we are getting ready for the uh, big shindig, the Doomer meetup shindig here at Bugs in a Jar Farm starting next Wednesday. And I hope you can join us and starting in six days. Uh, just email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com if you want to get an official invitation. But anyway, uh, it is a beautiful day and we have some, we have I just learned from YouTube, sent me an email saying that Collapse Chronicles, we have passed two milestones in the past week where we have welcomed our 5,000th subscriber to this channel. We are now at over 5,000 subs and we hit 2 million views yesterday. 2 million times people have clicked on to listen to some old doomer in a sorry shirt talking about how doomed we are. So uh, to celebrate, you're in luck since I can't make up my mind. And these are both fairly short. We're going to have two chronicles of the collapse today since I'll be doing the full manga bay thing tomorrow and I want to get both of these in. So we're going to get to the mainstream media, third biggest story on the planet here about climate tipping points in a minute. But before we head over to the mainstream, we're going to check in. You know, I like to check in occasionally with that little lefty, Caitlin Johnstone. It was, you know, a not a, but a, you know, one of the old school lefties. Uh, and so she is just kind of summing up in her rant today. So uh, I'll put the link on here and you can sign up to get Caitlin's daily rants or whatever. <clears throat> but take it away, Caitlin Johnstone, and explain to us why... Our entire civilization is fake and stupid. And there you go. You're not jaded. Everything really is just as phony and vapid as it looks. I say this because if you were reading this or having some old hippie in a WASF hat reading it to you, it is likely the result of a personal quest for truth, which has led to a gradual peeling away of the lies our society is made of. Your eyes probably found this text because you are the sort of per person who has been trying to make sense of the world in a sea of propaganda and deception which often results in a growing disgust not just with the power structure structures which oppress and tyrannize humanity but with our entire civilization yes the growing sense of disgust with our entire global industrial civilization this experience is very common for people like yourself, and it's very common because it arises from a clear perception of reality. From the very beginning, human civilization has been built around serving the interests of the powerful, from religion to philosophy to the arts to law as the world has gotten smaller and it has become possible to artificially manufacture culture 
with mass distributed media, this has only become more the case and will continue to be more and more the case over the next few years and decades. Uh, that is why the more you learn about the world, which is pretty much what I'm here to do for anyone cares, I'm trying just to, I am learning about the world and when I find something interesting about the world that taught me something, I share it with you, such as this uh, rant from Caitlin. That is exactly what I do here. That is why the more you learn about the world, the more fake and stupid our civilization looks. It is because it is fake and stupid. Our news, our entertainment, our jobs, our legal systems, our political systems, our education systems, our financial, monetary, economic, and commercial systems, the way our entire civilization <laughs> is structured and organized has nothing to do with what is true and good and everything to do with keeping human organisms compliantly turning the gears of capitalism and empire. Yes. Mainstream culture, mainstream culture, what Terence McKenna would be calling the dominant cultural paradigm, you know, the thick of the bell curve. Mainstream culture is one giant psyop geared toward keeping people fueling the oppression machine. Not because of some grand conspiracy, though there is plenty of that too, but because the manufacturers of culture have a vested interest in preserving our unwholesome status quo. The media are owned by plutocrats who have an interest in making sure everything they are putting out sustains the imperial status quo upon which their kingdom, their kingdoms are built. The Pentagon has more influence over Hollywood than people like you or I ever will. <clears throat> Things get elevated to mainstream levels of attention. I might say things get lowered to mainstream levels of attention, but anyway. Uh, things get elevated to mainstream levels of attention and influence by the people with the wealth and the power to elevate them, can you say Elon Musk? And they are always going to elevate things which serve their interest by manufacturing consent for the status quo. Their wealth and power are premised upon not things which harm their interests like material that expands class consciousness or highlights the depravity of the U.S. centralized empire. So, mainstream culture presents a fraudulent image of reality. It is written into the code of everything, the code of everything that is mass-produced. 
not just in Prager University lectures on the evils of socialism or propagandistic news stories about weapons of mass destruction, but to sitcoms in advertisements in clothing brands. In clothing brands. Yes. Uh, in pop music, in textbooks, in trends, when it is not constant messaging that capitalism is totally working and the world is ordered, ordered in a more or less sane and truth-based way, it's manipulations designed to shape our values and measures of self-worth to make us into better gear turners. If you are noticing this ubiquitous fraudulence, it's not because you are becoming distant from the rest of society. It is because you are becoming more intimate with it. You are getting in real close, so close, you can see the nuts and bolts of it. See how the sausage is made. So, if this is happening to you, I mean, if you're becoming a doomer, that's what she's saying. So, if this is happening to you, don't worry, you're not turning into some kind of jaded hipster who is too cool for what everyone else is into. You are just seeing the bullshit for what it is. Sure, a rejection of mainstream culture can just be pure ego-driven, look at me. I'm so special, crap. But it is also what happens when you sincerely move in for a closer look at the mass scale psychological fabric of human civilization. This is what Terence McKenna, good old Terence, where is, could you imagine what Terrence would be sounding like today? We, you know, the good always die young. This is what Terrence McKenna was talking about when he said, quote, the cost of sanity in this society is a certain kind of alienation, close quote. And then, of course, she uh, quotes, the, you, you know, the... the the quote that's become so common in the Doomosphere has just become a Doomer cliche. And it is what Jiddu Krishnamurti was pointing out when he said, quote, it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society, close quote. A lucid perception of reality today will necessarily be accompanied by the ever-present smell of bullshit. <laughs> you tell them, girl. And that's not your fault. It's not your fault that you were born into this world where so much of everything is fake and stupid. So, be gentle with yourself in your sense of alienation and take comfort in knowing that others see what you are seeing too. But, mainly, learn to take comfort in the fact that just underneath the logos and screens and suburbs and Hollywood actors pretending to be people, reality is roaring. There is a whole world of wonder and authenticity shining ferociously.
from just beneath the surface. It's just got nothing to do with the artificial culture that has been mass produced by the powerful and funneled into our minds. Underneath all of the social engineering and power serving control mechanisms, there is a whole life of raw terrestriality that is much, much older and much, much stronger than the lies of the machine. You can see it crackling everywhere, even in the deepest parts of the matrix. You can see it in the sky. You can see it in the bushes and the pigeons. But you can also see it in the bus billboards and skyscrapers, in the flashing signs and blaring screens. And you can see it in the giant-brained bipedal primates you are surrounded by each day hiding just behind the dance of imperial fraudulence in their heads. You can see it even in those who are most asleep at the wheel, the most enslaved to the mind viruses of the machine. If you look, once you learn to see it, once you learn to see it, you can observe nature winking at you even from inside the most rage-faced pundits and most self-absorbed social natterers. Hmm. It is there. In reality, this sense of alienation is just an awkward transition phase between buying into the imperial dream world and a deep, deep intimacy with humanity as it really is beneath all the obnoxious programming. Beyond the revulsion at the phony Face puppets, something ancient, authentic, and exuberant is dancing, and it is more real and more true than our disgust with this civilization. Look closer, and you see the fraudulence. Look even closer and you see what is real, your sense of alienation is entirely valid and based in truth, but we are not meant to stay there. Truth beckons us forward. Truth is beckoning us all forward, and these mind cages they have built for us are not real enough to hold us in for much longer. Well, you know, even Caitlin Johnstone uh, tends to drift into the hopium at the uh, end of her rants, and uh, I would love to agree with Caitlin. That was her closing sign. These mind cages they have built for us are not real enough to hold us in for much longer. As much as I would love to agree with you, darling, uh, the mind cages that are being built around this planet, uh, they're getting uh, stronger and stronger every day. More and more and more people are falling for this crap are being trapped in this propaganda, whatever you want to call it, 
I like that term mind cage. There will be more people whose minds are in cages tomorrow than in today. Uh, and, and this is one of the reasons I am a doomer. Uh, I would love to believe that we are breaking uh, free from our rusty mind cages, but unfortunately, the opposite Every bit of evidence I see is that more and more people are buying into this crap and um, and this Green New Deal, this this little lefty Green New Now, now Caitlin Johnstone is not buying into the bright green lies, but the bright green lie sustainability mind cage it's just the latest. I was, uh, you know, listening uh, to some of these mainstream commercials today, you know, talking about what was it? We were, we were up there, Rob and I were up there working on the tiny house, and they were talking about these, what, what was it, sustainable high-end tiny houses. There is nothing sustainable about a high-end tiny house. And something about saving the bees, and then there was some commercial about green hydrogen, and then the next commercial uh, was about reaching net zero uh, by 2050. It's crap. It's crap. It's crap. It's crap. The bright green lie mind cage. Anyway, get out there and break free of your mind cage every opportunity you get. And come see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm next week and meet the infamous Sancho Panza. Sancho would love to uh, say hi to you and give you a stinky kiss. But uh, we're actually going to, I have some bad news, little dog. We're doing two rants to celebrate our two millionth view. No, you're not getting loose. We're going to come back to the mainstream media that uh, Caitlin talks such trash about. And uh, we're going to see what the corporate media uh, is talking about today. The, we're going to go over to the corporate media for the third biggest story on the planet today and uh, see, check in with the corporate media now that we've checked in with the alternative. Be right back, my guys. <laughs> 